Okay, let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. Hainam Bhavana Sapakna. Close your eyes and watch your breath. Stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Try to make the breath comfortable. Give the mind a good place to stay right now. Because if it doesn't have a good place to stay, it's going to go looking outside for other places to find its happiness. So try to find a sense of well-being inside. When the mind has a sense of well-being, it's easier to control it. It's like keeping an animal in your house. If you don't feed it well, it's going to start chewing on everything. And then go running outside to see what food it can find outside. And who knows what kind of food the strangers will give to it. But if you feed it well, it'll be happy to stay in the house. And once you stay in the house, then you can be more in control of when it goes in, when it goes out, and what it does. This is a principle called restraint. If we don't have restraint in our actions, who knows what we're doing? After all, as the Buddha said, the mind comes first in all experiences, and the mind is what builds the worlds in which we live. The world we're living in right now is a result of our past actions, the fact that we're here experiencing it. And our actions now are creating the world we're going to live in here and also on into the future. So you have to ask yourself, what kind of world are you creating with your actions? Now, some things lie beyond our control in the world outside, because other people are acting as well. But the impact of their actions on us depends on our own karmic background. As the Buddha said, if you don't have a wound in your hand, then your hand can hold poison and not suffer from it. The same way if you don't have any bad karma, no matter what bad things there may be in the world, you don't have to suffer from those things. If you've got a wound, though, this, the poison will seep in your hand. You can die from it. So you want to make sure you're not leaving any openings for other people's bad karma to come in and have an effect on you. We live in a crazy world right now, but you don't want to be crazy along with the world. Remember that what you're doing is creating the world that you're going to experience now and on in the future. So you want to be careful about what you do. Even though the mind is in charge like this, it still has to follow the principles of cause and effect. And one of them is if you act in harmful ways, the harm will come back to you. And you have to act in ways that are skillful, okay, and then you're going to receive the results that are pleasant. Those, those are laws of causality that we can't change. We have to learn how to live within them and use them to our own advantage. And the advantage being a happiness that doesn't harm anybody, a happiness that lasts. So when you're thinking and acting and speaking, ask yourself, what kind of world am I creating through my actions? And be very careful not to create anything that's going to be harmful and to withstand the Im impulse to do things that are harmful. And this is why we feed the mind with sense of well-being through the breath, through the sense of well-being through the concentration. When the mind can be stable and still and feel good about being here, it's much less likely to go out and look for trouble. Why look for trouble when you have something good inside already? So we train the mind so it's a good mind to be in, a good mind to inhabit and creates worlds that we're going to have it now and on into the future. So be very careful about what you're creating. Each time you open your mouth, each time you move, you're creating something. Make sure you're creating something good. <laughs>